What if I told you that some of the animals that you thought were gone forever could come back to life? That's right, some scientists are working on bringing back extinct animals using cutting-edge biotechnology. But why are they doing it and how are they doing it? And which animals are they trying to resurrect? In this video, we will answer these questions and show you six amazing animals that scientists are trying to bring back from extinction. Stay tuned until the end to find out which one is the most surprising. Number 1. The Quagga, a half-striped zebra. His subspecies of plain zebra that lived in South Africa. It had stripes on its head and front half, but was brown on its rear half. It looked like a zebra that ran out of ink halfway through. It was hunted to extinction by the late 1800s, but a project called the Quagga Project aims to resurrect it by selectively breeding zebras that have quagga-like traits. So far, six individuals have been born that look almost identical to the original quagga. Isn't that amazing? Number 2. The Arox, a giant ancestor of cattle. A massive ancestor of domestic cattle that roamed across Europe, Asia, and Africa. It was about six feet tall at the shoulders and weighed almost a ton. It was so powerful that it could kill lions and bears with its horns. It went extinct in 1627 due to hunting and habitat loss, but a project called the Toros Program hopes to recreate it by crossbreeding existing cattle breeds that carry some Orox DNA. The goal is to produce animals that are genetically and ecologically similar to the Orox. Imagine seeing these beasts roaming the wild again. Number 3. The Carolina Parakeet, the only parrot native to North America. A small green parrot with a yellow head and orange face that was native to the eastern United States. It was the only parrot species endemic to North America, but it died out in the early 1900s due to hunting and deforestation. Its loss had a profound impact on the biodiversity and culture of the region. But now, scientists hope to bring it back by using gene-editing technology to modify the DNA of its close relatives in Mexico and the Caribbean. The idea is to restore its unique coloration and behavior. How cool would it be to see these colorful birds flying in the sky again? Number 4. The Caspian Tiger, a nearly identical twin of the Siberian Tiger. A large subspecies of tigers lived in Turkey and Central Asia until the 1960s. It was hunted to extinction for its fur and bones and also lost its habitat due to human development. It was one of the biggest cats ever, with males weighing up to 530 pounds. It was also very similar to the Siberian tiger, which is still alive today. In fact, they are so genetically close that they can interbreed. That's why scientists want to bring it back by reintroducing the Siberian tiger to its old habitats, where they expect it to adapt. The Siberian tiger is genetically very similar to the Caspian tiger and has already shown signs of adapting to different environments. Wouldn't it be awesome to see these majestic predators roaming their ancestral lands again? Number 5. The Woolly Mammoth, a hairy elephant-like creature. They lived during the Ice Age. It went extinct about 10,000 years ago due to climate change and human hunting. It was one of the most iconic animals of its time, with thick fur, large tusks, and cold tolerance. It also played an important role in shaping the landscape by grazing on grasses and shrubs. Scientists want to bring it back by using stem cell technology and cloning. They plan to use DNA from frozen mammoth specimens and insert it into elephant cells, then grow them into embryos and implant them into surrogate elephant mothers. The aim is to create hybrid animals that have mammoth traits such as fur, fat, and cold tolerance. How amazing would it be to see these furry giants walking on earth again? Number 6. The Tasmanian tiger is striped dog with a pouch. Also known as thylacine. It was a marsupial predator that looked like a striped dog with a pouch. It lived in Australia and Tasmania until the 1930s when it was hunted to extinction for its fur and for being a threat to livestock. It was one of the most unique animals ever, with stripes, jaws that could open 120 degrees, and pouches for both males and females. Scientists want to bring it back by using gene editing technology and cloning. They plan to use DNA from preserved thylacine specimens and insert it into Tasmanian devil cells, then grow them into embryos and implant them into surrogate Tasmanian devil mothers. The goal is to create hybrid animals that have thylacine traits such as stripes, jaws, and patches. How incredible would it be to see these striped marsupials hunting again? 
So there you have it, six animals that scientists are trying to bring back from extinction. Which one do you think is the most amazing? And do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos like this one. Thanks for watching.